These are honeybee colonies, and most people are terrified of honeybees, and rightly so, because honeybees sting. But did you know that honeybees are essential for the survival of mankind? How do honeybees benefit mankind? Well, it all starts right here at the colony entrance. These bees that you see leaving the nest and coming back are coming back with pollen loads. Now, bees visit flowers when they're away from the nest, and most of you probably realize that they'll collect nectar from flowers to produce honey. But some bees actually go to flowers for the purpose of collecting pollen. Now, bees are covered in hair, and this hair is electrostatically charged pollen just jumps onto their body when they're in the flower. They'll take that pollen off of their body and stuff it onto their hind legs, and you'll see these yellow orange balls of pollen on their back legs. They'll fly that back to the nest where they'll store it in the cells. Once a forager bee enters the nest, she unloads the pollen from her back legs into wax cells like this. Other worker bees in the nest will use that pollen to feed the baby bees and to grow them up into adult bees. And despite the importance of pollen to the bee colony, it's actually the pollen collection habits of bees at the flowers that most benefit mankind. This is the end result of a bee's insatiable appetite for pollen. What happens is the flowers that are visited by bees set fruits, vegetables, for example, gourds or cucumbers or watermelons or pumpkins. They also visit blueberries and strawberries and citrus trees. Some people estimate that as much as one third of the world's food production is directly tied to the pollination of habits of honeybees. That's why they're so important to man.